A former New Roads police officer and volunteer firefighter in jail tonight after allegedly raping a child. There is new information in that's unfolding about this case. News 2's Jordan Ponzio spoke with the Point Capiz Sheriff and has the latest on this investigation. Michael, Sylvia, we now know that multiple people have come forward saying they are victor, victims of Cadrian Williams. One is too many. One is too many. Point Copie Sheriff Rene Thibodeau said Tuesday that they set the bond on him yesterday at $2.55 million. 29-year-old Kedrion Williams was arrested July 20th on charges including rape of a child under the age of 13 and other sex crimes against children. Sometimes you think you know somebody and then there's a, another side of a person that you don't know that comes out later. Williams was previously a volunteer firefighter with Point Capie Fire District 5 and a part-time police officer for New Roads. He was not with either agency at the time of his arrest. Sheriff Thibodeau said the investigation was turned over to his agency after New Roads police received the initial complaint. To be very transparent, that's why the Point Capie Sheriff's Office is investigating and not the New Roads Police Department. You don't want a department to investigate their own personnel even if they were on a part-time basis. Thibodeau says there are at least three victims and are all under the age of 13. There's no winners in this situation. There's a young man who I think works in Baton Rouge at a plant for construction. And, uh, you know, there's possibly three victims. So it's not a winning situation for anybody. Williams was booked into the Point Capie Parish Detention Center for first-degree rape of a victim under 13, first-degree rape while armed with a dangerous weapon, and decent behavior with a juvenile and pornography involving a juvenile. More charges could follow. It's heartbreaking if, uh, if all of this comes to, uh, to be the, the facts and truth. Thibodeau says he knew Williams from his kid's high school and was shocked when investigators received the case. We thought he was a very nice person, and uh, he was, but maybe he had something going on on the inside that nobody knew about. The Point Capi Sheriff's Office is still investigating and asks that anyone with information contact investigators. In the newsroom, Jordan Ponzio, WBRZ News 2.